Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at a problem we've been hearing about with malware bytes where an error pops up that says unable to connect to service. Relatively easy fix. What we want to do here is get to our services and see if it's running manually or automatic. You can, depending on your windows, try and cover most of you. If you hit your window key here and there's a run box, you can type in what I'm about to show you. Or my preferred shortcut is use your Windows key and the keyboard plus R and that will pop up and you'll type in services.msc s-e-r-v-i-c-e-s dot m-s-c when you click OK your services window will pop up scroll on down to malware bytes and when you find malware bytes you can right click and hit properties or double click as you can see it is set to manual for some reason switch that to automatic you can click apply now and reboot or again I wasn't able to duplicate it click on start if it is not currently running apply okay and that will fix your problem now once again computers being computers it's not working for everybody this way either you might want to consider a malware bytes uninstall so I would recommend you grab IOBit Uninstaller. Just type in IOBit Uninstaller Major Geeks and it will bring you right to our page where you can grab it. You can get the portable version, even though the installer is basically portable as well. That way you make sure that Malwarebytes is completely removed from your machine, including all registry entries, settings, files, folders. So when you reinstall, you're going clean. So if this doesn't work, get Malwarebytes off of there and reinstall it. One of those two should get rid of the error, of course, doing it through services is quicker, easier, and neater. So I hope this fixes the problem you're having. And as always, we thank you for watching and we'll talk to you next time.